Today I'm going to help you with canonical PD. Usually what you get in books or what teachers, or you don't get in books by the way, what teachers teach in class is uh, something you have to memorize and you have to memorize a lot. So I'm here to help you with my way to solve canonical form of PD where you won't have to memorize any of the things. So well, a PD in general form is like this where it is capital R R capital S S capital T T P P Q Q W Z it's some variable Z and some constant W and C is for the constants which are separately there in the general form where R small R is dou Z square upon dou square Z upon dou X square S is dou square Z upon dou X dou Y T is dou square Z upon dou Y square P is dou Z by dou X and Q is dou Z by dou Y these are are generally taken in all the forms uh, here we see that the canonical PD can be of three forms we calculate uh, from the coefficients of this equation this value s square minus 4rt if it's greater than 0 it's hyperbolic if it is equal to 0 it's parabolic if it is less than 0 it is elliptical okay now uh, now I'm gonna help you solve this uh, solve an example and you it's gonna be very helpful for you. So this is the question which we are going to solve. It's r minus 2s plus t plus 3p minus q is equal to 0 where these uh, alphabets have the general value which I've already made you understand. Here the value of r is 1 s minus 2 t 1 p 3 q minus 1. Now we're gonna find the value of s square minus 4 rt which is equal to uh, s is minus 2 so 4 minus 4 r is 1 t is 1 is it it is equal to 0 now we're gonna find the lambda quadratic equation which is this this equation is called lambda quadratic equation it is r that is from taken from the equation we get this lambda is the replacement of r lambda square and lambda is replacement of small s and t small t is replaced by 0 and other terms are neglected in this equation so here we put the values of r s and t and get this equation we solve this equation we get lambda value the lambda have two a single value not two values which we generally get so this concept is going to help you understand uh, this total concept of canonical pd in a better way so we find this lambda characteristic equation this is called lambda characteristics equation where uh, we are going to find this this is what we obtain from this you can solve it easily and this is the value of u you get from this by solving this now I'm gonna tell you another concept that uh, u and v are two uh, transformations u and v are two functions which are gonna help us to transform this function total uh, pd so we have to find the Jacobian of u and v with respect to x and y and this should not be equal to 0 here in this situation it comes this way by solving by putting the value of v. we have already found the value of u we put this and then this and uh, we have to find something similar to u but not equal to u so here we can take v is equal to y minus x so we get two values u and v y plus x and y minus x we find their differentials in this way ux uy vx vy respectively we get the all the values and now we're gonna put, use the transformation of u and v in the general form so as I've already mentioned r is d square z by dx square which is equal to dx of dou dou x of dou z by dou x we find dou z by dou x dou z by dou x is nothing but dou z by dou u into dou u by dou x plus dou z by dou v into dou v by dou x we have already found values for these two equations and we are going to put this here we find the value of p we name it 1 p is this dou z by dou x which can be calculated minus 1 and 1 I have already calculated earlier so we get this 
we find the value of operator by eliminating z from both the sides we get the value of operator now r as i have already mentioned is dou by dou x into dou z by dou x we multiply the value of operator with that of p that is dou z by dou x and now we get the value of r so you see it's quite easy and you all of us can do it similarly we can find t t here is dou square z by dou y square it is dou by dou y multiplied by dou z by dou y again dou z by dou y is dou z by dou u multiplied by dou u by dou y adding to it we uh, dou z by dou v multiplied by dou y dou v by dou y so we have calculated these two values earlier as we are using the transformations of u and v so we get 1 and 1 uh, and this way we find value of q again we uh, obtain the value of operator dou by dou y we get this by eliminating z from both the sides and again t is dou upon dou y dou z upon dou y which i have already mentioned similar uh, as we did earlier we are going to again multiply both both of these and obtain the value of t which is equal to this in this question now we are going to find the value of s s is dou of dou y multiplied by dou z of 2x or you can also write it as dou of dou x into dou z by dou y you are going to get the same answer in both the situations so it is equal to we have already found the value for this operator you will get this and this is equal to p we get this we multiply both of these and get value of s and now we just have to put these values in the equation a equation a i have already mentioned is the question it is given in the question this is equation a we keep go on putting the values of r s t and other variables and we get this equation this long equation and it is equal to 0 as given in the question okay now we uh, uh, do the calculations we get, and we get this final answer so guys this is the final answer of this question and you can solve other questions of pd similarly and in this way you don't have to memorize anything uh, i'm glad to help and would be helping you in other questions as well thank you